Latest on the Sherman Minton Bridge, which of course connects Louisville to New Albany. It is still closed at this hour after the immediate shutdown was ordered on Friday afternoon, early Friday afternoon. Yesterday, engineers completed their inspections and reported favorable results after that, but now they're in the analysis stage before making another decision about what's going to be next with the bridge. The Sherman Minton Renewal Project told us Sunday night that they focused their attention on the bridge beams. Today, Jose Alonso went to an engineering expert to find clarity on the repair project and find out what steps crews need to take before that bridge can reopen. In an update on the closure of the Sherman Mitten Bridge, we learned that engineers found an alignment issue with the beams, prompting an immediate shutdown on Friday. I spoke with the university professor to find out how long this problem could take to fix. They're working on trying to address it. Well, I can't give you an estimate on that. It could be months or it could be a couple of days. It's somewhere in that range. It all depends on what do they have to do. As of Monday afternoon, the bridge remains closed in both directions. On Sunday, officials said engineers removed temporary bracing at a concrete deck pour and noticed lateral beams were out of alignment. We got to give them time to formulate a plan come back, you know, if they have to fabricate new uh, systems, that's going to, you know, if it's, let's say, two or three beams, they have to fabricate. They have to order the beams, they have to get them fabricated, and they have to get them in there, and that's going to take time. The bridge shutdown is not only impacting traffic, but also the economy and people who live nearby. Dr. William McGinley with UofL's JB Speed School of Engineering says public safety outweighs those issues. They're saying, giving it, give us time, we found a problem. Okay, we're going to shut it down to be safe for the public and we'll get back to you as soon as we can and get this thing fixed and get the bridge open. You know, if I was in their place, I'd say exactly the same thing. Until then, drivers will continue using a detour. In New Albany, Jose Alonso, WHAS 11, on your side. We also contacted the folks at the Sherman Minton Renewal Project, and that's the organization that speaks on behalf of the Indiana Department of Transportation and the Kentucky Transportation Cabinet. They told us today they didn't have time to speak on camera, but that at this moment engineers are in the analysis phase and should be providing another update this evening.